From the moment you enter the grounds at Le Bourget, it's clear this show is all about big announcements and hot headlines. Hello, ma'am. Show news. On this second day of the 2013 Paris Air Show, Boeing had both. Boeing today is officially launching the 787-10, the third and largest member of our game-changing and ultra-efficient 787 Dreamliner family. Chairman and CEO of Airlies Corporation, or ALC, announced a commitment for 30 of the new stretched Dreamliners, as well as for three additional 787-9s. The new 10X, we believe, will be one of the most powerful wide-body aircraft uh, for decades ahead. It's going to offer tremendous performance, uh, excellent economics. The 10X uh, will be an amazing machine uh, in the in the regional medium long haul routes. Uh, it will be the family member that I think has the best operating economics of anything in the industry. The 787-10, billed as the most efficient jetliner in history with unmatched operating economics, is already living up to its new nickname as a perfect 10. ALC is not alone in its excitement for the new airplane. There are now 102 total commitments. In addition, to ALC's commitment for 3787-10s, Singapore Airlines has committed to 30. United Airlines has committed to 20. British Airways has committed to 12, and GCAS also to 10 airplanes. But not all of the news of the day centered around the Dash 10. In a packed briefing, Scott Fancher, the vice president and general manager of airplane development at Boeing Commercial Airplanes, updated the progress of all of the company's Twin Owl commercial airplanes, including the current 777 and 747-8, and the eagerly awaited 777X. So the bottom line is we, we couldn't be more excited about where we're heading. We think we've got airplanes that are just going to be a home run in the marketplace. Outside the walls of the Boeing chalet, the buzz was equally upbeat. Boeing and Brazil-based Embraer announced a strategic partnership to market and sell Embraer's KC-390. Our companies, I think, share a vision about how the relationship between Embraer and Boeing uh, can advance the objectives of these two great countries. And in yet another sign of Boeing's overall strength, for the second year in a row, CEO Jim McNerney collected the Top Performing Company Award given by Aviation Week, a top industry trade publication. The successful day ended with a significant order from Korean Air as they announced a commitment for 11 Twin Isle airplanes, including five 747-8 Intercontinentals and six 777-300ERs, worth about $3.6 billion at current Thank list you. prices. Korean Air strives to achieve uh, excellence in flight, and I am confident that these new Boeing airplanes will help us continue to maintain our position as one of the world's global airlines. A strong finish to day two at Le Bourget.